of the WWE 2K20 Universe mode. Even though I haven't uploaded in a while, as I put in the comments, I'll be continuing the 2K19 King of the, King of the Elimination Chamber series and finish that off. Then I'll move on to the 2K20 stuff. So as soon as I've done more, as soon as I've finished up on the 2K19 series, I'll begin with more 2K20 stuff. It may just look average, but this is actually 2K20. Depending on how quick this episode goes, if this if if this episode is like extremely quick for a Monday Night Raw, then I'll just do like I'll just do like another show. And just put that as part of it. I might do Raw and Smackdown just so like the videos aren't always like 10 minutes long for the rest of the time. hear the music except me, I think anyway, unless you can hear it through the headset. That stuff can all go. Unlike on 2K19, I will actually be playing this one as well. So, I want to go Baron Corbin on this one. They change a lot of the buttons from PS4. From, I mean, this is still PS4, but they change a lot of the buttons from 2K19. I may consider doing the Tower series as well. I've already done, I've already done one, which I've completed, and I've done a quarter of another one, and I've, and I've done chapter one of. Actually, wait, I've done. I think I've actually done two chapters of the. Um, Showcase mode of the four horsewomen, and I've actually, I think I've done nearly two chapters, maybe possibly three of the um, career mode. I'm just gonna call it that. My player mode, I don't know what to call it. I don't want Joe to get any kind of way at all. I'm trying to finish this. I want to finish him off quickly. Right, I don't actually know how to do the deep six because I don't really like his other move, which is like the choke slam backbreaker. So how do I? Can you not do a deep six? That's a bit of a shame. Oh well. Or we just do that instead. Choke slam backbreaker it is then. But at least the end of days is pretty cool. I don't think I can actually pin him right here, though. Uh -oh, Maybe I can. He's gonna kick out. He's gonna go two finishes. Yep, there you go. Well, that failed. For a bit of stamina. I'll wait for the stamina to charge and I'll hit him with another choke slam back I'm just gonna walk around and look a wise well. Gentlemen, Baron Corbin, 
first match over, not even six minutes in, this would have been a match. This could be a long video. Because when I usually, like, back on 2K19, when I actually didn't used to play, I actually just used to watch and just, like, kind of do, like, a sort of play by play commentary on it. I break out on him. I mean, it is kind of Baron Corbin's like persona, really. Oh well. Oh come on! How? Didn't have his deep six signature in there, so I quite like that more than the trip stand backbreaker. So does this mean it's a possible rivalry? Does this mean it's going to be a rivalry between me and No Way Jose then, or could it be some other Joe and No Way Jose teaming? I actually haven't got any legends in the game. What I'm going to do is what I usually do for normal universe modes off camera. What I'm planning to do. Oh, this is hard actually. He's quite athletic, but he's quite strong. I do quite, I do quite like the bar though. Mm. I'll go Cesaro. Cesaro is pound for pound the strongest WWE superstar. It puts it on full display in the ring. Strikes that hit like freight trains and nearly inescapable submissions. But yeah, I haven't got, got like any like people from the accelerator. I did buy the accelerator Alexander, pack. One of the most dynamic so I've got that. What I'm gonna probably do is add like the people that are kind of still currently in WWE. So like, I've got Mr. McMahon, Stephanie, and all that. But there are two I'm actually quite surprised about, really. Oh, what a punch! That's how you stop your opponent. Um, like the fact that the Undertaker and Triple H aren't actually like they're playable, obviously, but like they're not actually part of the roster when you first get them, which is a bit surprising, really. But I might add Mr. McMahon, Shane, Stephanie, because they're just part of it anyway. Then I'll probably add Triple H. Um, I'll add Edge as well, because he's still in WWE. Possibly Christian if he returns. Uh, I might add Shawn Michaels, because even though he doesn't wrestle, he's the vice chairman of an XT, so I might get him in there. And The Undertaker can go in there with Triple H as well. But then there's like people like Goldberg and all that who have to decide because Goldberg, he's still in it, I guess. And John Cena's still technically in it as well. Hold on, Mr. Whenever I get stuff like the Royal Rumble, whenever I get whenever I get stuff like the Royal Rumble, there's always like only a 30-man Rumble match and never like a 30 women because there's not enough women. That's why I'm planning to add NXT as part of that. But last time I tried adding NXT to part of the Royal Rumble. Right, can I do my oh my god, which is the leg swing thing? Is it gonna let me do it? Is it an option? There we go. The Swiss cyborg hasn't dripped up. I love this move. We're going swinging. I'd hate that to be me. Then if he's got it covered. Just at the 10 minute mark as well, nearly. Now at the 10 minute mark. Seriously? Come on, really? So if I would have played yeah, Cedric and done any of that stuff to Cesaro, he would have been injured then. 
Oh my god. Really? Well, I already, I already know what happens anyway. It's like it's like the exact. I saw the exact same cuts in twenty in two K seventeen. And two K nineteen and two K eighteen. Yep, punch, 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 knock off, bam, kick, 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 back to by security. Two fairly interesting matches so far then. Ugh. I'm not the biggest fan of the, ta of the tag team matches. I like tag team matches on the actual WWE, but not on the game. It's just really a pain to me because it's always having to like handle like whenever you're going for a pin, someone just runs in and breaks it up. But who to play as? The Authors of Pain or the Viking Raiders? Hmm. They're both quite big. I faced these two last night on part of one of my towers modes. So what I'll do then, I'll go the Authors of Pain. I'll probably, someone's probably going to intercept the match though actually. Yep, knew tag it. Is it Gallows and Anderson? The Here's them, isn't it? The I'm waiting to see it. Yep, there you go. Gallows and Anderson. Literally like, on Raw, whenever there's a tag team about to come out, it's always them that interrupt. There's never anyone else. Well, we're facing these two now. If I look on the Viking Raiders, we're going to play against Gallows and Anderson. The Authors of Pain can do it anyway. I'm trying to skip that part. Should be serious. Oh my god. Such a dynamic maneuver from Rizzo. We're gonna make a much needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. And a whole drop with authority. Look at Luke Gallo starting to slow here. It looks to me like his partner's pitching in there. Oh my god, elbow drop. He's hitting on all 
What are you doing? Oh my god, this guy doesn't even know how to do elbow drops. serious right now what's his signature then oh my god this is so ridiculous what is his signature then what what the hell get in the ring freak This game is taking the absolute piss. I'm aiming at the ring. Oh my god! This game is taking the absolute piss. Run him! Oh my god, go fuck away, you cunt! Fucking giant cunt! Fuck off! Are you going to get in the ring now? Bringing it back into the ring. Absolute stupid. This is why I hate tag team matches. They're just boring. Not looking good, guys. I don't know what his signature is. What is his signature? Yeah, standing in front. I'm standing in front of him. This game is so stupid, it's unbelievable. What are you doing, you freak? This game is so stupid. Like that is, this is one of the most boring matches ever. I would not pay to see this at all. I'm so tag matches are just so boring in this game. Like it's just the same moves over and over again. Honestly, I just dislike them so much. That's why it's just completely annoying. 
but they actually had to downgrade the tag team people being so fast with breaking that pins. Because literally, like, back in 2K19, they used to be so fast, they, they could just break up the pins the entire time. You, li you literally had to knock them down just to get, just to get that. A competitor whose fighting spirit never dies, and whose integrity and honor are just as renowned as his in-ring abilities. Ray's been doing this for a long time. Look at this. Diving body splash. Ricochet is like a real-life superhero in the form of a WWE superstar. There is no way his opponent doesn't find that somewhat intimidating. Why would Ray find it intimidating? Ray's literally way more athletic than Ricochet. The only thing, the only athletic thing I've seen Ricochet do is do a few flips, and that's it. Ray can do that. Oh my god. It's not even let me reverse at all. I don't even know why Ricochet is even a superstar. He's not even that good. Like he lost to Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. He won a United States Championship and lost it to AJ Styles. And he hasn't got, he hasn't got a single title opportunity ever since, except from the WWE Championship, and that was it. And he lost in, what, like two minutes? Come on, how? So let me get this straight, so if someone was to... So if you were on the pavement, and someone literally did that to you, they literally like jumped on you, and they weighed over 100 pounds, you'd just get up instantly, would you? Oh my god, really? I get your small and all, but god. Give 
don't know how I'm wondering actually what's next to be honest. Is it all it, women's match? Great, another tag team match. Fantastic. Okay. Just just no. Right, this tag team match. I'm probably not gonna be doing the tag team matches at all. The only time I'll actually do the tag team matches is if it's for the tag team titles and that's it. Going. Look, these tag team matches I just can't stand in this game. They're actually just so annoying and boring. It's unbelievable. I'm simulating that. I don't want to sit for a primer either, so I'm sitting. Right, let's see. So there's three matches left. That one I'll do, yeah. That one, that one I'm just going to exit and simulate after I finish that one. And then this one I'm just going to simulate as well. So this is the last match. And then after that, it's just simulate, simulate, end of rule. Because I've been going for 26 minutes and 20 seconds now. That's quite long for a first episode. I've seen longer first episodes and I've seen shorter ones, but... The only reason I've seen shorter ones is because people don't actually play through the entire rule, but until I actually learn the, until I actually learn the editing skills, this is what we're going to have to stick with. But I'm playing as McIntyre anyway. Drew McIntyre returned to NXT and WWE with a newfound passion. We'll see on display tonight. So impressive since the I like Drew McIntyre anyway. Really and since he's the current WWE champion. In Not in my game, but he's just the current champion in the actual WWE. WWE so uh, but I swear, if Otis, ca if Otis cashes in on him and then wins, I'm going to get super annoyed at that because Drew's been waiting a lot longer than Otis has. Drew's been in WWE since, what, like 2007, 2009? And then he left in, like, 2014. Then he came back. And then he got, like, he left He left in, like, 2014, then came back in, like, 2016. Same goes, same goes with people like the Brian Kendrick as well. Because he was in WWE, like, in, like, 2005. And then, and then eventually he left in 2009. And came back in... Um like 2015, 2016. Nice offense from Drew McIntyre. That was a completely embarrassing thing. Well, the ref just got killed. Right on the, jaw. Drew the ref's dead now, though. something of a reputation for his brutality in the ring. I think we can expect to see that ruthlessness on display here. Drew needs to utilize his unrelenting offense in this matchup. Brutality is a big part of that, Cole. If there's an opening in your defense, expect Drew to exploit it. He won't shy away from going after an injured limb to get the better of his opponent. Pow, what a shot! Well, he's got resiliency up now, so as soon as I hit a signature, I want to pen him and see, like, either if it works or it doesn't, because I know if I hit my finish, if he kicks out on my signature, the Glasgow kiss, and then he still kicks out, and then I hit the Claymore, he's going to use resiliency. And they changed it so you can actually no longer, um, so you can actually no longer, like, just instantly pin them and just win the match. You can, you can only get, do that if they're extremely low. Will he use resiliency right now? Or will he just do that? I knew if I was going to hit a claim way, he would have definitely used resiliency, though. Possibly. Well, never cut scene. He's going to attack him. This is going to start a feud between them both then. Wait a minute. What's he thinking now? Why is he? Why is he just lie there in the, in the middle of the ring though? Like. Oh yeah, exit. I feel like it's been a pretty decent rule then. I'll probably start doing the promos actually this like on SmackDown. I was planning to actually do a SmackDown Live like in this part as well. So I could just do two shows, two shows, and then just etc until we get to the first pay-per-view, which is gonna be money in the bank. But pretty much what my what I say is if the video goes more than 25 minutes long. So like say if I get to SmackDown and it's gonna and it's under 25 minutes.
then I'll do an XT on it, but if it goes over 25 minutes, then I'll cut it there and do NXT. But the thing of 205 Live though, like 205 Live, 205 Live is going to take like 10 minutes to complete. There's only four. There's only four matches on there, so I might have to do like 205 Live and Raw in the same episode. So it's going to start getting a bit confusing, really. I'll try and see if I can make 205 Live matches maybe a bit longer though, so I don't have to like keep putting them in all the time. But that's a minute, yeah. Anything on the news? Yeah, just a few stuff, that's all. So, I want to show you what I mean. So, like, so we've got that, which we've done now. I actually just check out what we're going to have in SmackDown when I get to that episode at some point this week, or possibly next week, depending on how the Elimination Chamber ends. So, B&B versus Nikki Cross and Kane. Fatal 4-Way, Ali, Chad, Gable, Larry from Rusev. Ember Moon versus Tamina, Alistair Black versus Benjamin, Andrade versus Mahul. Flair versus James, triple threat match. New Day versus them, Shinsuke versus Apollo. But yeah, well, I'm, no, 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 not on that part. I want to show you what I mean when I talk about this though. So I've got, I've got all the superstars in here like Andre the Giant and all that. I'm thinking of adding like, I've got a few customs as well. I probably won't put them in though. I made that as a sort of like another persona for Goldberg. I think I've actually got it on part of his thing. Yeah, there you go. I made him that. I don't know why he's doing the little fun thing though. But I pretty much I made I made him that on another universe mode. So like he's like gone all like proper healing all that. He's the highest, 97 rated for both of them though. Like, cool. Oh, Kofi's 96. But I want to show you the champions I've got in my game. So. I've got NXT champion, obviously, is Adam Cole, Velveteen Dreams, the North American, Shane is the women's Street Profits, the NXT tag, uh, Kofi's the WWE champion, Drew Gulak's the Cruiserweight champion, Shinsuke's the Intercontinental champion, Gallows and Anderson are the Raw tag team champions, Becky Lynch is the Raw women's champion, The New Day are the SmackDown tag team champions, Bailey's the SmackDown women's champion. Seth's the Universal Champion, AJ's the US Champion, and Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross are the Women's Tag Team Champions. I might add, possibly, a United Kingdom Championship into NXT. So I might consider doing that when we get to NXT. I'll have to do, like, maybe, like, some sort of, like, decision on SmackDown tomorrow, for what, depending on how long it takes. I might possibly add, um... I might add... Should I add another show? That's something I could also consider adding, the Hardcore Championship. But it should... Pretty much what I mean is, with another show... Like, because obviously you've got these spaces here, that's just all pay-per-view stuff if you want to do that. I'm planning on also doing... A road, I, I think it's October it takes place, something like that. Maybe like around th there or there. I'm planning on doing Evolution, but since I actually can't make it an all-women pay-per-view, I, I can only just put Raw, Smackdown or... NXT, which is what I'll do, it'll just be like another standard pay-per-view because the gap between that, this and that is unbelievable. Like, we can't go that long without a pay-per-view. But we've got Money in the Bank first, then just UK TakeOver, Extreme Rules, SummerSlam, Hell in a Cell, Super Showdown, Survivor Series, TLC, TakeOver Phoenix and the Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, Fast Lane, NXT TakeOver New York and then WrestleMania. And that'll be the first year, the first season of Universe Mode. I'd say quite a successful Raw then. But what I'm planning on doing possibly, so since, if I go back to titles, I've got all this stuff like the ECW World Tag Team Championships, the Championship, the WCW stuff. There's a lot more WCW titles than there are ECW. So on one of my, I'll show you actually what I've done on another Universe Mode. I'll just load it in. What I've done on other universe mode, I'll show you. I'm not going to play this, but I'll just show you what I did on it. I did a Monday night. I did a Monday nitro, so pretty much I've got all that there. Uh, I did Bash at the Beach as well, which is pay per view for WCW. I did Halloween Havoc in October. I really should have done that there actually. Uh, yeah. I did a spring stampede, spring stampede, 
so three pay-per-views in a row what a great month that'd be just like a pay-per-view every single week nearly so um, maybe something like that perhaps but other than that I'd say a successful Raw. I will actually play with the match tomorrow then. Like if if it's promos, like I'll, I'll watch them. If it's tag team matches, I'll play them. But tag team matches are quite frustrating. So this marks the end of the first episode of the Universe Mode of Raw. So it, depending on how the Elimination Chamber schedule works, because I think I actually did the fifth round. I have to find the notes for who actually won the other ones because I haven't done the Elimination Chamber thing in three weeks. So other than that, I'll see you all some point this week, maybe for Elimination Chamber or possibly part two of the Universe Mode, which should come tomorrow. Keep an eye out for it.